Oh, no, one more here. And after this, we're going to go ahead and let you close. Five minute closing. Thank you. But let me let me just. Uh, you got what he said. They spent 29 years in public edu education. Spent the last years, eight years, in private education. Many parents scrap and save to pay uh, extra dollars for education above the, ta uh, the educational tax level, the public tax level. Uh, if they were given a tax break to what they pay for uh, public education, how is that spending your tax dollars? So, in other words, uh, yeah, as, you, as you know, uh, a, a true tax credit for being able to use their dollars as they, as they deem they desire to use it. Because otherwise, you know, they're paying for education in general while it's trying to settle the burden of paying for their own children's education. So how could they, what, what would you be adverse to the idea of them either getting a, a pure tax credit, a pure tax credit, or a true uh, voucher to be able to pursue that? I thought I'd answer that. Yeah. Well, apparently they didn't. They didn't feel like. No, no. I, I don't. I don't think we should take tax do divert tax dollars from the public education system to the private education system. I don't know how it could be more clear than that. I'm not trying to mince words. I think they're saying with their own tax, their own tax dollars, a true tax credit, which are done for all types of things, for money that they're currently spending. I, I, they don't see it as government's money. They see it as their own. Well, let me let me, let me put it this way. So I mean, we'll be playing. We're not mincing words. I mean, if if I say. And I, and I understand others may have a different perspective on the issue. But, you know, what is, if somebody said, hey, look, I'll tell you what, I'm going to hire private security guards, therefore I shouldn't pay any into HPD, you know, no. I mean, you know, that is, but I'm not, I'm not saying that it's an illegitimate view for somebody. I mean, there are some people who, 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 prom who want vouchers, and they're citizens, and I'm not maligning them. I'm just telling you what I feel. I don't think that's it. I don't think that's the answer. I'm sure the governor, uh, the governor candidate, the aspiring governor, the mayor will be around afterward. But go ahead and take five minutes. We are closing closing thoughts. Thank you very much. I've I've appeared before you right in front of you, and for a little while, because I respect you, and I need your help if you want government in this state to be. I want of servant-based leadership. This fellow over here, I, Perry sends around to videotape. He follows me around, videotapes everything I say. So this isn't a, this isn't a secret meeting. The career politicians will tend to do whatever they can to, to cling to their office and make promises. But you've seen who I am and uh, what I've been able to do. I commit to you that I will bring the people to this state together and I will be a public servant who unites us on what we care about most. Just think in your heart. Isn't it true that most of us in Texas want some basic things? We want a good job. We want our kids and grandkids to have more opportunities than we did. We want safe neighborhoods. We want to know if we take, if our, you know, relatives are uh, get sick, or kids get sick, husband, wife, where we take them, it doesn't bankrupt our family. Uh, we don't. We believe in limited taxes and holding the line on taxes, and we believe that real leadership consists not just on passing a law or giving a speech, but organizing the community to get things done. It's been about 20 months ago since y'all were with me after Hurricane Ike. We didn't do it by passing a law or a big government program. We divided what this people needed to do in this community, and we took care of each other, and we got back on our feet. And it was real leadership. I demand results. I know how to squeeze a lot out of public service. Now, it is true there may be some who say I'm a fish out of water, that in this political environment where the politics of theater and fear and sound bites, people who speak to the microphones and want to tell you there's some simple solution to every problem that a person like me may not be, uh, you know, how do I say it? Um, that the politics of our country is doomed to have people shouting at each other rather than finding common ground. But I love this country too much for that. Now I need your help. This is a great state. 
I give my values for my faith and my family. My dad, he, when he came off the farm, he was injured in the war. He went to school in the GI Bill. My mom, her mom began working when she was a teenager, standing up at a store and then later selling cosmetics. She worked for 50 years. They taught me hard work. If you want to see somebody work in a job, you hire me and I will work for you. And there's people at the city, employees up and down the line, who will tell you who worked hard for each of you. And I didn't do it for my glory. I did it because I believe that public service is important. We need that spirit in the state of Texas. There will be the politic, vicious politics and politics of destruction. If we've learned anything from the experience of Ms. Medina and Kay Bailey Hutchison, it is that Rick Perry will try to destroy anybody who challenges him, not just somebody from another political party. I know that what's going to happen. I know what they're going to try to do. And I know what happens when decent people like the people in this room don't stand up for somebody like me. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you to do the right thing for our state. You know, diversity is not just a matter of people from different backgrounds or different faiths or different colors. In this country, diversity means diversity of opinions too, doesn't it? Isn't that right? Isn't that one of the principles that our men and women are fighting for halfway around the world? Shouldn't we be the state that leads this country on how to form a, a civil society composed of people from a whole bunch of different views rather than a state that is known as one where the governor wants to leave the United States? I need your help. Thank you all very much. I respect, I respect you because where I'm here, I go on radio shows all the time not just in controlled environments. That's another contrast between me and the person I oppose. There had not been meetings. There have been big speeches shouting into the microphone on tea parties, but not this kind of thing. And if you want somebody who's a real servant, they ought to be here answering the same questions from you next week or next month. Thank you very much.